Hey, it's Matt Haynes, and today I'm going to show you how to change the propellers on a DJI Mini 2 drone. And a lot of this translates to other drones as well. So even if you don't have a Mini 2, uh, you can learn something. And, you know, taking the propellers off and putting new ones on can feel a little intimidating. You know, you got an expensive drone, you got these little tiny screws, and so I, I just wanted to walk you through it, show you how it's done, and uh, it's not so hard. To have a successful propeller replacement, uh, you do need a few things, of course, and many of these things will come in the kit that you buy. But just to go over them, you're gonna need screws, first of all, because that's what holds the propellers in place. You're going to need a screwdriver. Many of the kits come with a screwdriver that fits, so you know you may, you may not need to go out and get one of your own. But if you do something like a really small Phillips head screwdriver, the kind you would find in a you know a glasses repair kit maybe or something a little bigger, that'll work totally fine. You also need the propellers. Now note that the propellers come in two different directions. You have the normal direction and you have the reverse direction, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And you might also need some Loctite or other thread locking compound uh, if your propellers and the screws didn't come with it already on. Now, I know that the DJI screws have it on the end, and so the, the upgrade I'm doing to master air screw propellers, their screws have it on the end too. You can usually tell because it looks like there's a little bit of blue paint on the end of the screws. And what that does, that keeps those screws from unthreading so that you don't have a disaster in mid-flight when you lose a propeller. You don't want that. The Loctite is optional only if your propeller kit didn't include screws with the Loctite on it. And finally, you need just a little area to keep your screws. And I would recommend having a big table and a little cup or something like that to put the screws in just so you don't lose them because they tend to roll and disappear and they're tiny. I'm just using the uh, container that the propellers came in to drop the screws in. Okay, first I'm going to take out the screws of the upper right uh, propeller here. And you just have to hold it steady. You gotta push down a little bit because these are secured with thread locking compounds, sometimes called Loctite as a brand. And so they're a little stiff to come out, which is a good thing because you don't want your propellers coming off. Now I'm gonna keep my old screws here in this little tray. So I just hold the ring of the motor like this and I put the screwdriver in and I have to press a little hard, but not too bad. And then I just take the screw out and this is why we work on a big flat surface so that if the screw go goes bouncing around we know where to find it. Now the ones in the upper right hand corner here they have this line you can see that there's a little line on right under the ring right there and that tells you that that's one particular kind and the whether you're using the DJI or uh, master air screw you're going to match up so th the upper right hand corner gets the ones with the line and I'm going to put those on now. As you can see, this one also has a line, so that's what we need right there. You should be able to see on the end of the screw here, there's a little bit of what looks like blue paint. This is the thread locking compound, and that's what's gonna keep the screw in place. Okay, so that line goes on top, and I find it easiest to put the screwdriver in the screw and then line it up with one of the holes. That way it's less fiddly. You might have to go back and forth a little bit just to get it to seat itself. All right, now I need another lined one here. And something to keep in mind, you can reuse the screws, but I don't recommend doing it because the new screws, if you've bought a major brand, the new screws will have the thread locking compound on it. And your old screws won't, or it will have a lot less because you pulled them out already. And so unless you're using more thread locking compound, you're running the risk of things coming loose and you don't want that. Also, if there's any wear and tear on the screws, you know, they might break. I mean, it's unlikely, but I would just suggest, you know, screws are cheap, just replace them. It's no big deal. Okay, that's one set there. Now I'm gonna do the diagonal because I wanna keep things organized. These are the same kinds of propellers here, the same directional propellers. So again, I'm going to take the screws out of this one. Okay, that's those out. 
Now we're going to put the same lined ones in, line on top. Same thing here. I'm going to put the screw. The, I'm going to put the screwdriver in the screw just to keep it in place. It just helps it guide it. Find the hole. And the one thing with the thread locking compound on the end of the screws, oops, it it sometimes doesn't feel like it's threading properly because you know you're not. It's not a pure thread. It's thread with goop on it. So it's it can feel a little awkward. But you know, just don't don't jam anything and use common sense. All right, looking sharp so far. Now we're gonna do the uh, the opposite direction propellers. Now one thing that can get maybe a little tricky is the side that has the lines on it, it's easy because the lines go on top, but these propellers don't have lines on them on either side. And then you start to wonder, especially if you're using a different set of propellers, which is the right side up? At least for these uh, master air screw propellers, they have the uh, a little brand logo on the tops there, which also helps. But if you're using different brand propellers, that's obviously going to be different for you. Now for the DJI ones, the tops have the little orange stripe on and the bottoms don't. So there's a, another, another clue there. Notice I just dropped a screw into the motor here. I'm just gonna flip it over and dislodge it. No big deal. I do wish this screwdriver had a thicker handle so I could get some more torque on it, but you know, it was free. It came with the kit. All right, last one. Woot woot. Okay, so I would just visually check to make sure that all of the propellers look like they're on straight. There's not any that are leaning to the left or to the right, something like that. All right, that looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna, and then I'm just gonna start it up just to make sure everything is working. Looking for any wacky noises, strange sounds, that sort of thing. After you've flown your drone a couple of times with the new propellers on, I do recommend that you check the screws just to make sure that they're tight, that they're not loosening up, and maybe even check them again a month later, a couple of months later, because you're not using the original propellers that came with the drone anymore, and you want to make sure that, you know, nothing wonky is going on, because you do not want to lose your drone just because a propeller flew off and a screw came loose. Earlier I mentioned that I was upgrading my original propellers on my DJI Mini 2 with some propellers from Master Airscrew. And in fact, I've done a whole review on these propellers. So if you're interested in finding out, are they really an upgrade? Here's the video right here. Click on that and check it out. Cause you know, if you're looking to upgrade or even just change the color, find out if it's worth it. <laughs>